invalid pregnancy test nine causes of invalid pregnancy test so you got your urine pregnancy test kit from the pharmacy and done the test once you have done the tests using your urine just make sure you are seeing a colored visible line in the C or control region before you read or interpret the test this line shows that your test kit is working as it should now there may be times when you don't see this colored line in the control region in these cases your test is invalid let's see a few examples so you have done the test and here's what you are seeing there's a colored line showing up in the T or the test part but nothing in the C or control part Got a colored band that's only appearing in the T region and not in the C region which means that the test is invalid don't worry though these things happen try again with the new test and hopefully you will get a clear result now let's move on to another scenario where you might run into just like the one shown so you have done the test and here's what you are seeing or rather not seeing no colored line in the C or the control part and also no colored line in the T or the test part. The test strip looks like the same as it did before you added your urine sample. If there is no color band showing up in both the C control and the T test region, your test didn't work out. It's an invalid test. What does an invalid pregnancy test mean? Well, an invalid test result just means that the test couldn't give you a clear answer about whether you are pregnant or not. There could be a bunch of reasons for this. 9 causes of invalid pregnancy test. Number 1. Expired test. If your test is passed its sell by date, it might not work properly. Number 2. Incorrect usage. Not using the test right, like not getting the test strip wet enough or holding it wrong could mess up the results. Number 3. Reading the test too early or too late. If you check the results before you are supposed to or let the test sit for too long before checking, you might not get a clear answer. Follow instructions on the leaflet. Number four, faulty test. Sometimes the test itself might have a manufacturing issue which can lead to an invalid result. Number five, contaminated urine sample. If there is blood, soap or anything else in your urine sample, it could interfere with the test. Number six, insufficient urine. If you don't use enough urine on the test strip, you might not get a clear result. Number seven, diluted urine sample. Drinking lots of fluid before the test can dilute your urine which might affect the test's accuracy. Number 8. Incorrect storage. If the test is kept in extreme temperatures or humid conditions, it might not work as well. Number 9. Damaged test. If the test kit is broken or cracked, it might give an invalid result. Those are some of the causes of an invalid pregnancy test. Always make sure to follow the instructions closely and use a new undamaged test kit to get the most accurate result. And if you're still having trouble, don't hesitate to reach out to the healthcare professional. Solutions after you get an invalid pregnancy test. So you have got an invalid pregnancy test and you're wondering what now, don't stress. We have got some practical tips for you. Number one, don't panic. It's easier said than done. I know, but try not to worry. Invalid results can happen for all kinds of reasons and don't necessarily mean anything about whether you're pregnant or not. Number two, reread the instructions. Take a minute to go back all the test instructions you might have missed or misunderstood something the first time around number three retest with the new kit it's a good idea to grab a new pregnancy test kit maybe even from a different brand you trust just make sure it's not expired and follow the instructions number four wait for a few days if you think you might have tested too early give it a few days before trying again this gives your body time to build up hcg levels if you are pregnant number five test with your first morning urine when you retest, try to use the first P of the day. It's usually when HCG levels are highest, which can give you the most accurate results. And lastly, consult your doctor if you're still having issues or are unsure about anything. Don't hesitate to reach out to a health professional. They are there to help. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.